So in conclusion, this verse from our Bible can summarize, quote, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. From the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. This video has only begun to deal with the immense issues concerning Judaism and Christianity. Nevertheless, we have covered many key issues that a Jew must examine to gain clarity and perspective. Let us summarize these key issues. First, for a Jew, the importance of remaining faithful to our Torah and our people has life or death implications. The blessing to remain part of God's covenant with the Jewish people is not to be taken lightly, and it applies to us, as well as our children, grandchildren, and generations to follow. Judaism also believes that we impact the eternity that our souls will experience by our faithfulness to God and his Torah, and by not serving other gods. The Torah gives us the information we need to make these critical choices. Also, for the last 2,000 years, the Jesus of Christianity has served as the main other God that we have resisted, using economic oppression, violence, or proselytizing. Believers in the New Testament have tried to undermine our attachment to the Torah. Despite the loving face worn by today's missionaries, we must know that they are aggressively trying to make us adopt a faith that has always resulted in total assimilation. Unfortunately, many Jews today have little Jewish education or bad experiences with Judaism. Many are seeking spirituality and are turning to Christianity because they believe that Judaism lacks substance and is incapable of filling their inner needs. With great zeal and startling success, evangelical Christians and Messianic Jews are taking advantage of our vulnerable fellow Jews. By deceptively presenting the missionary message as authentically Jewish, they offer love and acceptance together with Christian beliefs to save them. As attractive as Christianity may appear to be to the unaffiliated Jew, conversion is a trap with terrible consequences. Our Jewish communities must become more vigilant in promoting the love, spirituality, and strength of our religion so that disenchanted Jews will not be enticed by the Christian message. Missionaries cannot quote every verse of the Tanakh because many of its verses contradict the picture they're trying to fabricate. When examining missionary arguments, we see that every verse of prophecy that they cite from the Tanakh is mistranslated or misrepresented, taken out of context, or just made up. When we examine our Torah for guidance, we are told to beware of false prophets who perform real miracles because God is testing our faithfulness. We must realize that the Christian missionaries are trying to convince us to believe in a God that is foreign to Torah beliefs. Quote, other gods which you have not known, unquote. The Jews of the Tanakh never worshiped the Trinity nor spoke of the Messiah as being anything other than a human being. The Jewish criteria for assessing a messianic candidate are precise. He must be a father-son descendant of King David through his son Solomon, and appear only one time. He will usher in the kingdom of God on earth, which includes world peace, an end to war, an ingathering of the exiled Jewish people to Israel, a rebuilding of the temple, and universal belief in God. Obviously, these things did not materialize at the time of Jesus or at any time throughout history. Lastly, if we are to believe that Christianity is merely an extension of Judaism and not a different religion, its beliefs must mirror Jewish beliefs. In fact, very little in Christianity matches Judaism. And furthermore, Christianity can be shown to have incorporated many pagan beliefs within its very foundation. When it comes to answering a missionary, this choose life 
a counter missionary study video is not intended to prepare you for a debate with the next missionary you encounter. Some of them are very clever in presenting their case and make inexperienced opponents feel awkward and confused. As well, there is no catchy statement that can penetrate their fixed beliefs because their faith is usually based on emotion and a distorted exposure to Jewish scriptures, whereas our beliefs are based on careful study. Jews for Judaism believes that the best response to a missionary is, in fact, no response. A polite but firm, no thank you, is the best answer. And you are absolutely not obligated to give him or her any personal information, such as your name, phone number, or email address. However, if you do become involved in a discussion with a missionary, remember the importance of checking the accuracy and context of their sources. All of Tanakh has a critical context that supports the Jewish position. Taken out of this context, many passages can have deceptive or incorrect meanings. This video has been designed to educate Jews on the vast differences between the authentic teachings of our Torah and the deceptions the Christian missionaries want us to believe and adopt. We hope this study video is informative and thought-provoking, and we ask you to contact Jews for Judaism with your questions. Thank you very much.